Okay, we have the interior lowlands next. Uh, this area is between the Great Plains and the Appalachian Mountains. It, it has the terrain really is marked by rolling flatlands, so it's very similar to the Great Plains in that it is excellent for farming. Uh, however, it has lots of rivers that go through it, so it's well irrigated from the very beginning. Uh, great place to grow corn, to have cattle, as we see here. We've got huge corn fields here in Iowa and plenty of rivers flowing through it. Great for dairy farming, as you know in Wisconsin, the cheese heads for Green Bay Packers. Uh, they make a lot of cheese, a lot of milk products. So it's a very fertile region. Now that there is a problem, there is a cost to the interior lowlands. Uh, it is known as Tornado Alley, so that's a great keyword that you can put in there. Uh, but what, ed what ends up happening is that all the moist, hot air from the Gulf of Mexico comes up through this region, and then all the cold air from uh, Canada comes down, and there's no mountains. There's no mountains in this area to slow down or stop any of these two uh, weather systems from crashing into each other. And once they do at a certain speed, they're going to create tornadoes. So that's why we call this area Tornado Alley. Uh, if you remember Wizard of Oz, or if you see on the news when they talk about tornadoes, generally they're speaking about this area right over here where a lot of tornadoes seem to occur.